Hello and welcome to machine2help.com. Today we're going to show you a demo on using the Predator RS-232 CNC software. Um, basically we're just going to set up for some basic communications. Um, I'm actually just using a current demo right now and I'm just going to show you uh, just some basic uh, data transfer. Uh, to start we will go up to the file menu and uh, Predator has a built-in getting started uh, file that we can go ahead and utilize that to set up for our communications with just about everything set up. And the first thing we're going to do is um, check and see what COM port is our USB is set up onto. You're going to, uh, to get to that, you're going to look in Device Manager. Right click My Computer, select Properties, and the Hardware tab. And then device manager. And here we're going to go down to ports. And we notice it says COM2. That's our USB serial port, COM2. So we know our port is COM2. So we're going to X out of all this. And we're, we looks like CNC2 is already set up for COM2, but we're going to go through and uh, review some of the settings. So we're going to right click the machine there and click properties. We're going to look at some of the default settings. Uh, this is all good. <coughs> uh, so current messages, I'll leave it as that. Leave all these default settings. Click finish. Okay, now each one of these are set up differently as well. So for here we're going to do a remote start and we're going to take a look at those settings. Again, we're going to right click, select properties, and also set it other, not receive from machine. Click next. Default directory, where do we want our files to be saved at that we download from the machine? Uh, we're going to click browse here. And we're going to select um, the location on our computer to store the files. I'm just going to put it in our communications folder and receive from machine. Notice default extensions. This could be .txt, edited, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, I prefer .txt. Basic text files. Click next. And these are the settings. Um, you can just leave the default settings. Click next. Again, leave the default. Default as well. Now here you can choose to what you want to send in your files. Send percent sign to percent sign. Every program starts with a percent, ends with a percent. Yeah, you could set this if you like. I'm going to go ahead and set that. And we have here for receive, same thing. I'm going to set receive percent to percent. COM2. You can select where COM port. We got two. 4,800, even 72. This is sometimes 9,600, but these are standard settings. Flow control, software. Click next. You can name it whatever you like. Remote start, or um, leave it as default. Click finish. Now that is set up. Now for our programs. Oh, notice this. You open it up. There's no programs there. So we're going to go ahead and set that directory to a directory that we know where we store our programs. And I am going to select a communications folder again, like so. Click OK. And click Next. CNC Programs, is what we'll call that folder. And now we have programs and directories. OK. So, what we're going to do is we're going to receive a file from the machine. You always want to start by trying to receive a file from the machine. Uh, settings are much less critical. Um, so that's what we're going to do first. So we'll just pull up the remote start screen here. And we're going to go ahead and right click this and click remote start. Okay, almost this little icon here comes up. And what we're going to do is get our machine ready to transmit a program. And I'm going to transmit right now. Notice a little arrow, it's transferring. You can see the data that's in the window here. Shows you what, what all came through. And terminal tab. Remote start is done. Okay. Um, so if we want to end our uh, receiving a program, just hit right click. Click cancel, remote start. 
I'm sure you want to cancel the command. Yes. Now, if we go into our receipt from machine file, we will notice we've got our file. Demo to run all axes in ATC. And there's our program. Now, if we want to send the same file to the machine, what we're going to do is uh, Predator has a drag and drop system, if you'd like. Just select the file you want to send. In this case, we will just go ahead and select a file in our main directory. Program 0100. And there's our file. I'm going to get the uh, machine ready to receive. machine is now ready to receive and now what we can do is close this off and just drag this file here drop it on top of the machine and then this little window pops up and just hit send to CNC and then the file is now transferring to the CNC Once the file has been completed, once the file has been completed, just go ahead and right click and click cancel, send to CNC. Just click yes and return to normal. That's how you can transfer programs to your mach machine and receive programs from your machine to your PC with Predator DNC. And if you'd like to get a chance, visit machine2help.com. We have a great troubleshooting forum, as well as uh, affiliate company of the CNC Specialty Store.